Hey guys, it's Danros Probs here, and this is episode 7 of my MCC tool chest guide. But on this one, I am no longer using MCC tool chest. Because if you've been living under a rock, which I don't know, maybe some of you have, uh, there is a new modding program out called Universal Minecraft Editor. Link for that will be in the description, but from now on, if I make any more tutorial videos, I will be making them using that program. So that's the reason why this one's taken so long to come out. So this one, we're doing some custom potions, okay? Now, I don't know, it's not the most newest thing in the world, but there has been some updates when they've added like new potions and stuff. So what I'm going to do on this one is Make a few potions that you can't really have in the game. So, I'll get five of them. And also I'm going to try something I actually have never tried. Now it might take me a bit of time to do, but I'm going to try and make a lingering potion that when thrown on the floor, you get everything. Like, all of the potions you can get in one. So when you walk in there, you obviously get your strength look. But I want it so you get loads, and then you have loads of particles coming out of you, if you know what I mean. We'll see if we can get that to work. And then lastly, I just want to show you how to make like a bog standard potion, which would be classed as like a god potion, which would just have everything. So what I'm going to do now is save and exit, and I'll get it on a PC. Okay, so we're on the PC now, and I used to use this tool, yeah? We are no longer using that anymore. So I'm going to move that one across. And also this one. You do not need Horizon anymore. Thanks to Oprisal P's new Universe Minecraft Editor tool. So we can chuck that one over there as well. Now this is what you want. This one, okay? So I'll put the download in the description. It's pretty straightforward. So what you do, you plugged in your USB like you would on Horizon. And it finds all your saves on your USB. So... I've already kind of done like a showcase with this already, so I don't really want to go over it too much, but brilliant tool, download it, must have, okay? So we're going to go on 360, and this is all my saves of it, and I've just put it on this secrets. It's just a uh, flat land, basically. But yeah, so all I want to do, I don't want to go on chunk locator or anything, I just want to find my player, so that's me, and this is all my stuff, okay? So we go on inventory, this is all the splash potions I've got. There's the lingering potion and potion. Now, I love this tool, well this program, because it shows you pictures of everything, which is really handy. But this is really handy. So if you um, click it, and then hold shift key, you can do this, and then expand selection. And you get them all, guys, like that. Oh, it's just so good. So anyway, I'm going to show you just one first of all, and then I'm going to speed up the video because it's going to be boring to watch. So, what you want to do for this, okay? So let's just make a levitation potion, okay? So we'll do. Um, so what you need to do is type in uncraft a ball potion like so. Okay, so then Minecraft recognizes that's an uncraftable potion. Now. You can go up here and use these little things up here, but it probably is technically quicker just to do it like this. So I want to add another compound tag, and I just wanted to call it display. Now that's just personal because I prefer it like that. And I want to insert another one, a string tag, like so. Okay, and we just call that name. Now I can rename this to Lev Potion. Okay. So this is the beginnings of making a levitation potion. So now I'm going to insert another one, a list tag, okay? Now you want to call this one custom potion effects. All like that, okay guys? And then you go in there, insert a byte tag. Now this one's an important one, ID. Why is that saying, oh! Right, my bad. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? There we go. Sorry, you need to add another compound tag. Now, I could have edited that out, but I'm going to leave it in there. Because it's. this is why this program's amazing. Because did you see it came up red, invalid? 
Now, if I was to make that all the way through, it would have, you know, not worked. But thanks to Mr. O Prize OP or Matt, he has made that for us, which is brilliant. So, yeah, it's quite hard to make mistakes on this program. That's just why I like this program a lot. It's really good. So now if I type in ID, it's fine. Look. Now, this is quite an interesting thing. So if you click on here and change this, look. Oh, it hasn't done it yet. Right, okay. Hang on. Ignore what I just said. That's fine. We'll just continue on. So you want to write amplifier. If I can spell it. Uh, that's right. Yep. And then add another byte tag. So in total, you need four byte tags, okay? So this one is show particles, like so. And the next one is ambient. Uh, yes, that's right. And the last one you need to add is actually called a uh, int tag, but I don't know what that actually means. Array, is it? I, I don't know. I can't quite remember, guys. But this is the uh, duration of it, okay? Ah, there we go. Did you see that updated to a little picture of the speed icon? Now, this is where this gets really cool. So, I don't actually know in my head what is levitation. Now, I think it's 16, but I might be wrong. No. So, that's night vision. Did you see that update? Now, I actually do remember what it is. I think it's actually... Is it 24? No, it's 25 then, isn't it? I keep clicking up there, I don't know why. There we go. So now it says levitation, yeah? So I don't want it to show part particles. I don't want that. Now this is really cool as well. If I type in, say, a thousand, it tells you how many seconds it is. 50. Now that's really good because I was struggling with that quite a lot of times because obviously ticks and seconds are completely different. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And then this amplifier one is an important one. This is how strong it is, okay? But it doesn't really matter with levitation because there is no difference in one, two, three, four, five, is there really? But the max on that is one, two, seven, just so you know. And this is, I believe, like another particle effect. So, you know, if you've got like beacons, they give off a, a lighter particle. I think that's what that is, but I'm not 100% sure, but I might be wrong. But yeah, once you've done one of these guys, it's quite painful at the start. All you need to do is just copy this little one, copy, delete that one, and paste. And then all you need to do is just rename whatever you want and whatever potions you want. So I'm going to speed this bit up, guys, and yeah, we'll get back on the Xbox in a minute, shall we? But I'll show you how to save and hash and resign before. Okay, okay, so that's all those splash potions done. I'm just copying that again, and I'm going to chuck it into here. Okay, so but this one, I need to make sure it's not... Well, it's already a potion there, but I need to add loads more things to this to make it godlike. So all you do for that is just copy-paste. So I'm going to add 10 different effects, okay? And we'll continue on with... The madness. <laughs> okay, guys, that one's all done, and now I just want to do this lingering potion. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work, but it's worth a go, isn't it? So, I'm going to put all of the potions on and see if I can make i don't know your character have so many different particle effects but without it actually doing anything if you know what i mean so we want it to show particles so one means yes and we'll have it for zero seconds let's make it 100 that's about five seconds yeah okay and we want this to be zero and we'll see if that works or not i'll put that to one and let's get speeding this up then. Okay, 
The last one is bad luck. Okay, guys, so that is that. I can get rid of that. So we got all our potions all there, all names, so we know what they are. And that's that. So what is amazing about this program, you don't need Horizon now, look. Just save. Save. The world has been saved. Rehash and resign. Okay. And that's it, guys. Done. So let's get on the uh, Xbox and see what's happened, shall we? <laughs> right, so let's open this up then. So, secret. The save seems to always go on the top. I'm not too sure. And let's do this and see if these potions are work, shall we, guys? Okay. I am yet to try this, so I'm looking at this with you guys, okay? So as you can see, levitation. Whoa. Okay, so the amplifier does it does actually affect um levitation. I'm sorry, I'm wrong about that. So yeah, if you have it on one, it must levitate you like hardly any. Um Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh it's up so high. Okay. So bad luck. Oops. So this is bad luck. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that actually does. I think it's something to do with fishing, but I'm not too sure. Now that one is luck, and it's never going to run out because I put the duration on pretty much maximum. So you've got to have milk when you're playing with patience. So, so we've done that one. We've done our bad luck one, a super lucky one. And now this one's a bit like you're drunk. See? <laughs> Hopefully you're old enough to drink, um, or you're really sick, let's put it that way. So yeah, that one's only lasting for a bit, I'm going to drink that because it's going to make me feel sick. And the last one I did was blindness, and this was only for a couple of seconds, so it might not actually work. Yeah. It's, it is on there, but I tried it to do it for just two seconds, but it hasn't worked. Now, I was going to save the levitation ones for the end. Now, this is a super god potion. Now, look at all that on the side. <laughs> I can run hell of a quick. I can do anything, guys. Jump. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely insane. Look at my speed and my max health and attacks damage. But, yeah, that's how you make one of them. So, you can stack them all up. And now, this is my tester. Oh, my God. Um, that's every potion in the game. But, sadly, you can't really see my character, but that hasn't worked what I want it to do. Okay, if you mix them all together, you get this horrible brown colour. Oh, I tried to make it so you get loads of different particle effects, but obviously that doesn't work. But anyway, guys, that's how you make custom potions. It's pretty straightforward. I mean... If you want to find out more, there is more on the Minecraft wiki, on the IDs and stuff. But I was just using his tool because it shows you the picture of what you want. So it's pretty straightforward. But yeah, anyway, that's the end of episode 7. I'm Dan Probs. Thanks very much for watching. Bye! <laughs> that's crazy how high I get.